Hi everyone. So this morning we had a hit a uh, uh, chick that had hatched inside. Can I pick them up? Yeah, you pick them up. Okay. So Shannon actually grabbed him. You probably saw him on the video earlier, but we brought him out here because he can't stay in the incubator any longer. Because one, there's no food in there. Two, there's no water. And then uh, him being in there could potentially be harmful for him. So we just want to bring him out here. But this is him. Or her. We don't know what it, what it'll be, and we won't know until it gets older. I don't know how well you can see it, but that egg right there has a chip missing or being knocked off of it, which tells us that the chick inside is trying to get out. So it shouldn't be much longer, and we'll have a chick out. That was a different one. Looks like his belly's bleeding. It's not his belly. It's like what's the umbilical cord maybe pulling? Okay. Mm -hmm. Just gotta wash your hands first. They're pretty clean. I haven't touched much of anything. Okay, I'm just asking. Calm down. Yeah. You didn't fully form. Just like us, we stopped bleeding too. I thought it was gonna hatch so I thought it was gonna be this one. I told you that was the one that was really that one's moving. Too. Mm. So maybe there's gonna be a couple of them, we'll see. It's too loud. Well, yeah, good. I could hear it from upstairs. Yeah, yeah you can see it. chick that just hatched, but it appears to have a little bit of a... Actually, I don't think you touch it. But as you can see, there's quite a bit of blood. You pour a little bit in this cap and don't you dare step on that uneven stool. Chris is going to take a little bit of the, so you can see right here, mm. got a, I'm not sure. Where it, it absorbs the egg yolk, it didn't completely close up and it's still bleeding a little bit, so we took some Bactracin. We're going to put it on there to help fight any infections that might come from it being open and hopefully this will help it heal up good.
to the man and find his leg. And we should have, I think we have another one over here that's chipping away. We'll see what comes. Stand right here. So, time to check on him. You could probably get a little drier. He's dry. It's not wet. It's just mad. I'm gonna get dressed and I'll take him with. You can go outside with the other chicks. Yeah, when you do need to keep them, In. we're gonna yeah we're gonna block the wind and stuff from them, just because of the fact that he's, he's well it's, it's very cold outside. He but, is really bulky right. too. We're going straight. Just of... we're going straight to the barn. All right. Ouch. Go ahead, the barn. Yeah, watch your step. He's burning. Okay. It's really cold. It's getting cold. I think we're at the same thing. Alright, walk faster, guys. Hmm. No, don't put him in there. Yep, that's where he goes. Oh. Yep. He, well, no, he's not, but we'll be able to tell the difference. These ones are much bigger for one. And the simple fact that, see how fluffy he's not? He'll eventually be fluffy like this, but he'll be a different color. So we're not going to eat him? Good, we can eat him. We need to change their bedding. And here's our three turkeys. Mm-hmm. It's dinner in 18 to 20 weeks. Turkey, dinner, uh, turkey. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wait, which one's your dinner? All, All three, three of them are going to be. One for Christmas, one for Thanksgiving, and I don't know about the third one. Easter. Hi everyone. So this morning we had a hit uh, a chick that had hatched inside. Should I pick him up? Yeah, you pick him up. Okay. So Shino actually grabbed him. You probably saw him on the video earlier, but we brought him out here because he can't stay in the incubator any longer because one, there's no food in there, two, there's no water. And then uh, him being in there could potentially be harmful for him. So we just want to bring him out here. But this is him. Or her, we don't know what it, what it'll be, and we won't know until it gets older. But this is actually going to be a laying hen to support its butt chain. There you go. But this will be a laying hen, or it'll be a rooster. And if it's a rooster, he may get eaten. But but all of these ones over here, though, are all of our meat birds. These are all Freedom Rangers. And they're going to be in the paddocks right behind the sheep. So once the sheep rotate through a paddock, these guys will come in here and they'll help clean up parasites. And then these fellows right here are all turkeys and they're going to be dinner in about 18 to 20 weeks. So, these will... <laughs> so they'll end up being um, <clears throat> probably Thanksgiving. One of them will be for Thanksgiving. And then the others will just be eaten. Maybe Christmas or somewhere. Um, they like to stay warm. That one's sleeping. Laying down right in front of you. Yep. <laughs> but, so this is just how they're how they're living right now and how they'll be for a, a little while. Oops. And then once they're old enough, the, these guys will all be eaten, except for maybe him. If he's not a rooster, he won't be. But this is just where we store them. Right now it's just too cold. It's springtime and it was 70 degrees the other day, but now today it's 35 and rainy and snowy. And then it'll be 70, I think it's supposed to be 65 or something like that midweek and then cool off a little bit again. <clears throat> so, slowly but surely, spring is here.
and on its way. He's thinking about it. He is. Let's see what he does. He's thinking too hard. Very fluffy. Wow. Except, except for this one. He was just born. But he's dry. He's just he's just not as fluffy as the others yet. But these guys are actually about two days older than him, so. About. They're also a quite quite a bit bigger breed. Uh oh. Where'd he go? So if you want to see more about how we go from hatched chicken to dinner table or laying hen. By all means, subscribe and like the video and share it with your friends if you think they're interested too. If you like our video, press the like button. And you can even share it with your friends. And if you have any questions, comment down below. And if you like the channel, subscribe to the channel. Finally!